Welcome to Sonic Time Twisted Episode 2. The order of levels in this are sort of wacky and crazy. But that's sort of cool. I like that it does that. Also, this level has a lot of invincibility power-ups. It's just they're very difficult to get to. Also, the ultimate paths are pretty fun in this level. Also, giant robot dinosaur. Where are its robot feathers? I want to see a giant robot dinosaur with feathers. That would just be the coolest thing. And if you take the higher route, you have to fight two of them! But they're fun. They're a fun little boss. But once I finish a uh, playthrough of this game, which will probably take forever, saying as this this zone's boss is super annoying. Shoot. I like missing all the checkpoints. I feel like I might be. Gotta go fast. Okay. So that's a thing that happens. And we get the fire shield, because it's the best shield. Besides the bubble shield. Fire shield and bubble shields are probably the best shields in this game. Probably a majority of these episodes is the, going to be the boss fights. Oh, we're still in the past. See, we could go to the future, but past levels are so much more fun. Shoot, I lost my shield. Ow. Yeah, I'm not very good at those segments. It also doesn't help that there's a robo-dinosaur. I feel like I can get back up there. Yep, definitely can. Ah! Darn super peel out. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not. Try to avoid as many future posts as possible. Because the past levels and the past bosses, although admittedly the same, are still way more fun than the future bosses. Those dinosaurs are more of an annoyance than they are, like, actually fun. I also really like the music in this game. 
I don't get why this... Oh, wait, you're supposed to hop off. I see. You learn something new every day. Oh, it's the same boss. Oh, God. I hate this boss so much. And I was preparing for this a couple of days ago. I was like, this boss was the end of my previous playthrough because I just couldn't beat him. But he seems to be easier in the past. How many hits does this guy take? He is ridiculously difficult. And does not like to die. Also, he gets super fast later on. It's really difficult to hit his little platforms. Also, why does he have platforms for hands? That just seems like a poor design choice. Whew, the first time I ever bought- ever beat that boss. And it was in the past, because the past is the best way to play this game. We actually accomplished a lot in this episode, so far. I love doing the super peel out, it's so much fun. Oh, it's starting to snow. You know what that means? Frigid Fortress. I'm surprised they resisted the urge to put a snowboarding segment. I mean, that's all we know these ice levels for, right? I, I may have went... What does that do? Okay. The snow looks a bit... How do you say... Ah, jeez. <laughs> snow looks a bit yellow in the future. Does that mean in the future everyone just pees in snow? Because if so, that's disgusting. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, right, backwards. Because that makes sense. Why, of course. I love it when Sonic games make me go backwards. Oh, shoot. That is a cool mechanic. I will probably never master it, because ice levels are the death of me in Sonic games. No, I have to use the lies this gimmick. Shoot. Oh, that gimmick's so difficult. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll leave this for next. Let's try and just beat this one little segment. Oh, jeez. So much- would have been so much easier if there was a fire shield on this level. If only I could drop- if only I could drop dash. And like, break snow or something. 
That would have been cooler. 